All venom, I'm lost in them, ready for war, better pray that the Lord with them My only focus, new vision, my new religion, just you and vengeance, you and vengeance, my new addiction I don't feel no feelings, now you were dealing with a super villain Ain't no holding back, I'm a maniac in the mood for killing No more forgiveness, I owe you payback, I'm coming with it I promise you my revenge, and I'm going Okay guys, so this is the kind of video that everybody's been waiting on my response, my kind of video towards my feelings of what has kind of went down this week with obviously the BNBF British Finals being cancelled. So of course, tomorrow, when this video goes up, tomorrow was meant to be show day. So it got cancelled on Wednesday. Wednesday morning, I was into my first day of my carb up. So it was pretty much all the white potato and things were going in, all the water was going in. I got quite far into it. It was about midday when I got the kind of call that obviously the finals was cancelled for this weekend. Again, it's out of everybody's control, which I do understand. And that's one of the biggest things that I didn't do was pretty much go on to social media and start kind of bitching about everything because of everything that's happened because with all the negativity that's going around these days guys that would be the first thing that you would see from quite a lot of people and the negative mentality from a lot of people these days is unfortunate but it's just one of these things and it's 2020 we need to take into consideration that we're going to get that so the hardest thing for me I did find was to stay positive and stay on top of things my head absolutely went like my head just went absolutely crazy it was so hard to take in that the show wasn't going ahead anymore and the fact was that it would have been really hard knowing the show wasn't going ahead a couple of weeks ago like if i was two weeks out but it was just the fact that it got to the point where i was like two days out and I was through the depletion stage so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday I'd done my deplete and then I would go into my carb up Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for the show day on Saturday everything was booked, everything was ready to go I was on my last few hours of obviously work and things like that it was also like one of the hardest things ever just because again I was like so depleted after my three days depletion never mind the diet but then going into my car but was okay and then to get the call just made my head go absolutely minced and it was like one of the hardest things ever again yesterday it took me quite a couple of days to to really know what's going on and understand what's going on and like stay it would have been so easy to go out and like binge and things like that and like don't get me wrong there's nothing i've got nothing against going and having nice food and things like that but i lost my appetite as well i couldn't face anything I, like, I couldn't even face a bowl of oats i couldn't even face wanting to go and get cereal or anything and i was getting so many messages like oh that's good now you'll be able to you know go and get your cereal go and get whatever you want burgers and all that kind of stuff and to be honest it just it, it took it out of me and it was really hard but like i said it took me a couple of days i really wanted to do this video just because I wanted to kind of come on and give you guys my thoughts because I received so, so, so many messages and there were so many mixed messages, there were so many mixed emotions and at the same time, like, I appreciate you guys' support so much. You guys are the reason that I am pretty much sitting in the position that I am sitting in today. So th the support that I've received has been incredible, but with all the messages and all the mixed messages, it was just absolutely crazy to take in. So I had to kind of take um like a day day and a half from social media just to switch off from it all forget about it all go out a big long walk just forget about it all but it's been a couple of days now guys plans moving forward this is one of the biggest parts this is why a lot of people are probably tuning into this video just to find out what is happening next i'm not going to keep you guys waiting here also what i did do was i started filming the kind of peak week video i wanted to also bring you guys my peak week and show you guys an insight through the depletion into the car but we didn't so far make the car but but through the deplete anyway i did fill in three days worth of things so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to throw it in this video 
you guys can see it if you want to skip it you can skip it i mean i would probably just skip it to be honest but at the same time i did film it i put a couple of stuff together so i will just chuck it into this video but before i go into that plans moving forward the show has been moved it's been postponed you could say and is apparently going to happen on the 5th of december which is an extra four weeks away so that is four weeks tomorrow four weeks from when the show was originally meant to go ahead on saturday the 7th of november so it's planned to go on the 5th of december now am i doing it or am i not doing it <clears throat> my problem is i don't feel as if I've accomplished anything, I don't feel as if I've achieved anything, I've dieted so hard this year, I have trained so hard this year, everything's been done harder regardless, I am always going to progress that way, I am always going to look for improvements that way, but I'm just finding it so hard to switch off from it, like, I've also got that kind of stubbornness about me that will do it, I will push another four weeks, I will do another four weeks worth of dieting regardless how much it takes out of me, regardless how much it, it kills me, it's just, I need, I know what I want and I don't have it yet and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get what I really, 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 really want. So if that does mean that I need to try and push on another four weeks, like we might even get four weeks down the line. You've always got that thing up here that's telling me, what happens if you get another four weeks down the line? That's an extra four weeks added on to diet, added on to prep, absolutely everything and then something else happens and the show gets cancelled again like regardless even the amount of money that i've lost this weekend due to flights and accommodation and things like that like what if that happens again what if the show gets cancelled again and then that's it for good like what's going to happen then how am i going to feel how am i going to take it how am i going to react it's just one of the really, really big things that I need to take into consideration. But the plan moving forward is I am going to be competing on the 5th of December. So I am staying on the diet. I'm staying on prep. I'm doing everything I need to do. I've spoke to my coach and everything. So it has been a really, really hard decision, guys. I do not want to pull out because I know what I really, really want. And it's just... It's, it's been so hard to process like it's took so much for me to take in that first of all the show got cancelled this weekend after what an absolute crazy year it's been but at the same time I now have an extra four weeks on top of this so it's like what's going to happen in the next four weeks nobody knows nobody knows a single thing because there's that much craziness going about on social media, on the TV and newspapers that nobody knows a thing. Do you know what I mean? So we are moving forward from that. So yes, I will be planning to get on stage on the 5th of December. For all you guys asking, I hope you do see this video so you won't need to send any more messages. Just regarding pretty much competitions, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love all the messages that I receive. And I do get back to absolutely every single one of you because... I am not that huge on social media yet that gets to the point where I'm getting millions of messages every single day. Don't get me wrong, I do get a lot, but I do make a point of getting back to absolutely every single one of you. Just because I want to show you guys that I appreciate the support a lot and it does mean a very lot to me. And the reason that I am in the position I'm in today is because of the support that I receive throughout my social media pages. So I'm just going to wind this video up here, guys. I just really wanted to quickly come on the camera and give you my thoughts. I struggled a lot. It was very, very hard. I still am struggling, but it's not something that I can't not get through. So I'm trying to stay as positive as I can. My mindset towards competing and my mindset towards bodybuilding, towards training is still the same. I've not lost anything. It just did really, really, really hurt. And it felt as if I'd lost something that was just like in a way it was like losing a family member like it was just you go through so much and it's just all gone within like one phone call it's done so it's like the goal is still there guys i know what i want i'm gonna go for it i'm gonna put absolutely every single thing into this next four weeks just like i've done this past nearly full year it's been a crazy one but we're going for it guys so 
like I said, I'm just going to wrap it up here. I just want to thank you guys for the continued support. It means the world to me. I appreciate it so much. Just like usual, guys, drop the video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new because we're still growing. Support's been crazy and I cannot thank you guys enough. So I will just see you guys in the next video.